guys, it's Natalia, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to DIY your own American flag shirt because 4th of July is coming up, and I know I never have anything to wear on 4th of July. I don't own, like, American flag shirts or things that say, like, America and stuff, so I always wear just, like, red, white, and blue, obviously, but it's never, like, it never looks very spirited, let's say. So I was like, you know what, this year I gotta go all out because if y'all don't already know... Um, which most of you probably don't unless you personally know me. Um, I became an American citizen this year, so it's my first time celebrating 4th of July as an actual American citizen. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go all out this year, you know? I'm gonna go all out. So, I decided to DIY my own American flag shirt. So I thought I'd show you guys how I made mine so you guys could get inspired and make your own. So, <laughs> let's get to it! So you're gonna need a plain white shirt and then a shirt form if you'd like some star stencils, masking tape, and spray paint, of course. And I'm going to start by taking my shirt and placing it in the shirt form. And if you don't have one, you can just use cardboard or just put something in between. And then I'm just going to start creating my design with masking tape and the stencils and all that. So I basically created the flag and made like a little corner at the top where, where the stars are going to go. And then I'm going to create stripes along the whole rest of the shirt. And then I decided to put tape on the collar because I wanted it to be white and so, because you know every part that you tape is going to end up being white, so you know. So I'm just going to place a few stars on there. You obviously don't have to put 50, it's just to get an idea of the American flag. So I put, I think like seven or something, and then you're just going to start placing stripes all over it. And you want to make sure they're kind of like the same like size and all that because you don't want it to look too homemade. You want it to still look pretty good. So I mean, I didn't do the stripes all the way down because I'm going to end up cropping the shirt or fringing it or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm probably going to do something like that. So I didn't do the whole thing. And now it is time to spray paint it. And my spray paint was actually kind of weirder than I thought. And it doesn't paint fully. But I mean, it was a pretty cool effect anyway. So just make sure you don't hit like any spots that you don't want to paint that color. So I kind of got like some red in the blue and blue in the red and all that. But I mean, if it's just a little bit, it doesn't matter. And now you're going to let it dry. So once it's dry, you want to make sure it's completely dry. And you want to start taking off all the tape and the stencils and all of that that you might have put on there. And if you notice that it's still kind of wet, then re-tape what you had on and just leave it be because you don't want it to not be dry when you take all this off. But then you take it all off and now it's time to cut it and crop and do whatever you want to it. So here I kind of cropped it a little bit because I was going to fringe it but then I fringed it and didn't like it so I cropped it more afterwards. And then I'm just going to make it into a muscle tank because you know me, I like muscle tanks better. So you can really do whatever you want in this point but this is what mine ended up looking like. And this is probably what I'm going to end up wearing for the 4th of July too so you know. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So that is it for my little DIY. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And thumbs up for more DIYs, because I actually love doing DIYs. And I don't know why I don't do any more, because I should probably start doing some more. So, thumbs up for more DIYs. Comment down below any video suggestions that you guys might have. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!